Wednesday night. It's like quarter past nine. Just finished for the day. Started pretty early, about half seven. Uh, but yeah, the title, the topic of the video, maybe with a uh, interesting thumbnail. I don't know. I only just started filming it. Uh, Should have worked harder in school. That's the topic. That's the title. Working pretty hard right now. Uh, I touched on it in my last video. Uh, purchased a car. Uh, but yeah, people have said to me, "Oh, you know, you, you work really hard, so it's fine." But like, you know, you know, you hear that phrase, "Oh, you should have worked harder in school." I've had some tough times over these last few years. You know, putting in at early mornings, late nights, cleaning up people's sweat, people's sick, people's God knows what. You know, I've been cleaning it. And you think to yourself, "Oh, maybe if I paid more attention to maths or in science or..." You know, if I actually turn up to my lectures when I went to uni, things like that, would that make a difference to where you are now? But for me, I didn't, maybe didn't work hard enough as I could have then, but uh, I'm certainly working as hard as I could now and uh, seeing the benefits, seeing the benefits. But I want to try and use that metaphor, should have worked harder in school uh, and apply it to fitness, all right? That's the plan, that's the, the idea. The idea being that, okay, you are where you are right now because of what you've done in the past. Time to get your acting gear, time to, time to work, time to put some effort in. Uh, but yeah, so that's going to be the overarching theme of the video. Stay tuned. Uh, quarter past six, Thursday morning. Let's hop in to a nice little edit of the day to see how busy the we can get or how busy that we do get. All right, let's go. <laughs> So as you can see, that day is pretty long. But yeah, so the message of the video, the metaphor within a metaphor, it's like it's like inception levels of genius in this one, right? So obviously, should have worked harder in school. Now I'm working hard now. Not a bad thing. Not a bad thing at all. Apply that to fitness. So wherever you are now, you know, you might not be happy, you might be happy. It's the result of previous actions. AKA, should have worked harder in school. But it's not a bad thing. It's just got to work now. Instead of working where you did before, working how you did before. It's got to change things, put the effort in, find the motivation. Once you do that, you'll be laughing. Absolutely laughing. It is now the weekend. I have some fun things to do, which I'll try and put into a cool edit. Gonna go to London and see uh, Harry Potter and the Cursed Child. And then, gonna do something pretty fun to end the video. Pretty fun indeed. Remember, should have worked harder in school, right? Yeah. So just got back from London, uh, saw Harry Potter and the Chris Child, and it was pretty good. The magic was amazing. The story was, yeah, it was still pretty decent. Uh, well acted, all good fun. And then picked up the new car, which you'd have seen in the last clip, which just makes life a bit easier having two cars. It just, you know, if you can do it, then, then why not? Uh, and then obviously, then going to round up the video with a big talk. So the title of the video, should have worked harder in school. Did say to apply it to fitness and say that it doesn't matter what you've done before, what you've done 
previously, but now, you know, if you want to make a difference, now's the time to work. Whether it's been good before or bad before, now's the time to work. Uh, and then, bizarrely, I, I like to talk to, uh, like, my friends, my clients, whatever, about those videos as I make them in the week. And we've been talking, and the topic kind of got onto school. And something that is actually quite interesting is, you know, the subjects in school that people laugh at. People are like, oh, no, you shouldn't do tourism. Oh, you know, you shouldn't do, um, you know, an uh, apprenticeship in plumbing or electrician. People are like, they, there's some sort of snobbery about it. And don't you think that's stupid? Like, you know, people say stuff, it sticks with you. And it shouldn't. And, you know, like teachers and your reports, like chatting to some teachers that, you know, I had a, uh, my PE teacher, year seven, said that I was very unfit. Like, realistically, I had a knee injury. But that stays with me now and it still irritates me. Like, of course I'm not unfit. Like, you're mad. But then, like, they'll say, oh, yeah, because, you know, because I said that. That's what's inspired you to go on and be, like... It's a bit of a, it's one of those. And I just think that like, for me, I came out of university and I, you know, I got a 2-2, which isn't as good as it I could have got or, or, or what I needed. I, I did, I got rejected from going into teaching. I got rejected from going into police just on the basis of, of the, the qualification I hadn't done well enough on. Uh, spent some time in an office, which I hated, and then decided to make a change, do it off my own back, my own way, which really suits me. If you've met me, I'm quite driven, quite like narrow-minded as in, I want to do it my way and see how it goes. And if that's a failure, then that's on me and that's fine. Um, but from that, obviously becoming a PT, setting up CDF Fitness, going on now into management and doing other things, it's been good. It's been positive. But, you know, in hindsight, would I have gone to university for the degree? No. Would I have gone for the experience? Definitely. It was very, very good. You know, the subjects I did, I did sociology, I did politics, I did psychology. People told me in sixth form, oh yeah, they're not real subjects. You should do math, science and English, you know. The highest employer of graduates is call centers to show you how many people have got degrees and and how really it doesn't matter that much you it's all about what you are going to do with it how you're going to apply those skills how you're going to how you're going to change it how you know you're going to go from someone who oh, okay i'm quite interested in fitness to turning that into a passion how are you going to go from i'm a musician who gets booked for gigs to i'm going to write operas and symphonies and all the rest of it you know, it's all on you. And I think don't let anyone else's opinion, don't let anyone else's thoughts get in your way from what you're going to do and how you're going to do it. And if it fails, then it's on you. But when it succeeds, it's on you too. Yeah. Big rant, big chat. You're probably thinking, what's this guy? No, he just uh, does press ups and stuff in the gym. But yeah, just my opinion, just what I want to get out there. And uh, yeah, you could have worked hard in school, you should have worked hard in school, but it doesn't matter. You are where you are now. Let's do something from there. Uh, but yes. Next video, I'm in New York, so uh, stay tuned for that one.